Hey everyone, my name is Mr. B, and today we're gonna be checking out our brand new elemental mode in Blade Ball. So in this new mode, every player gets the opportunity to select an elemental character, and whichever character you pick, you're gonna get specific abilities catered to it. So you see how I've got fire right now? I've got fire dash, fireball, raging flames, and fire tact. Basically, the goal of this mode is to be the last person standing, but to not only fight off against the ball, but now you've gotta use your abilities to fight other players. So it's going to be a whole new twist to Blade Ball. It's such a complex and cool mode. I can't wait to get further in depth with you guys. But yeah, let's check out some of the characters. Also, I'm giving away three limiteds to three lucky winners. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe, and comment your username. And make sure to check your inventory because it'll be automatically sent to you if you win. All right, now let's get back to the video. So the first element we're going to showcase is fire. So for fire, the first move is fire dash at level zero. You dash forward with a little fire trail. Fireball at level 15. You launch a fireball at other players. You've got Raging Flames at level 30. You collect souls by eliminating other players to empower your parry when attacking the ball. And then Fire Tact at level 60. Increase the curve of the ball, just like Tact. First move you've got is Fire Dash. It's a nice little dash. What more could you ask for? The next move is going to be Fireball. And this is pretty awesome because you're actually able to hit other players with this move. So let me see if I can nail someone with it. Let's get this guy over here. Oh, there we go. We hit one guy. This move regenerates insanely fast. Oh, and we just eliminated someone. Let's see if we can combo them. No way we got him. Oh my, yeah, this move is insane. Fireball is crazy. So the next move is called Raging Flames. And the cool thing you can do with Raging Flames is every time you get an elimination, you can trigger almost like a Rapture-like ability. So let me show you guys what I mean. Let me get an elimination real quick. All right, so I just got an elimination. I'm gonna trigger it. Look how fast the ball goes. Oh my, and I can keep triggering it. It's, oh, it's so fast. Oh, and it's just getting faster. And I, I'm pretty sure I can trigger it again. Oh my. Oh, this move is insane. This move is crazy. And then the last move, which is a passive, it's called a fire tact. It's basically tact, but almost like a fiery version. I'll show you guys. Look, it makes curving way stronger and overall, just uh, just helps with those curve moves and, and trying to maneuver the ball in ways you previously couldn't. Oh my goodness, I'm destroying these guys. Oh my, yeah, that is crazy. Let's trigger the Raging Flames again. Let's turn it up. Let's turn up the heat. Oh my, yeah, this move is insane. And I'm pretty sure I can keep using it. But yeah, Fire Tact is basically like Tact, but a fiery version. So those are all the moves you can get from max level fire. Let's try max level water. And then for water, all of the moves, you've got Geyser at level zero. Use a Geyser to jump high into the air. Shark Bite at level 15, summon a shark to attack other players. You've got Tidal Wave at level 30, ride a wave of water, pushing enemies away upon impact. And then Water Level at 60. And this increases your movement speed by 2.5% per second while moving, up to 50%, and then the user is slowed down when they parried the ball. Now, water's pretty cool. I mean, the moves are completely different than fire. You've got geyser to start off, but it basically just shoots you up in the air. There's a little bit of a water effect. It's really cool if you want to get on top of your opponent. And it's, of course, really good for mobility. Let's just get up here. It's probably really good for high places too. We can definitely do some experimenting, but that's geyser. And then shark bite is also a really cool move. So what shark bite does, it's another attack move. It shoots a shark at your opponent. But yeah, shark bite is really cool. Basically, you're just shooting a shark at your opponent and you're damaging them for a lot of health actually. So it's pretty awesome. All right, let's check out Tidal Wave. So Tidal Wave is another insane move. I'd say it's pretty good for mobility too, but check out what happens when I press it. Whoa, you're literally riding a wave across the map. I wonder how far it goes. Let's see if we can get across the map with it. Whoa, oh, and I just got hit by the ball. This is bad, but yeah, it's a really Really awesome move. I think it pairs really well with geyser because we can hit one of these and then we can hit a geyser right after. Duh, and you're getting across the map, definitely. Overall, water is just really good for mobility. If you're if you want to get across the map really fast, then water is definitely the one for you. Now we're gonna check out the new electric character. And this ability is really cool because again, completely different unique abilities. So bolt at level zero, you teleport forward at the speed of light. Spark Beam at level 20, you shoot an electric beam to zap opponents. And then Smite at level 40, you teleport forward, unleashing a lightning strike that stuns any nearby players. And then last but not least, you've got Static Shock level. Now this is the passive, and basically you unleash a lightning aura that slowly damages nearby players. Now that is insane. So we just explained all the abilities, now let's put them into work. So of course you've got your bolts, 
and that's just a bit of a thunder dash. And then we've got Spark Beam. Oh, we hit him a little bit. Now what Smite does is it basically teleports you forward to any nearby player so that you can hopefully eliminate him. All right, let's check out Smite. Boom! <laughs> that's actually pretty awesome. Let's see if we can use Static Shock. Oh, we just used Spark Beam. We're gonna teleport out of there. So that was a little showcase of the brand new characters coming to the Elemental LTM. And then also we've got some other characters that I didn't showcase yet. We've got Earth, we've got Ice, but I kind of want to let you guys discover them on your own. Because I'm going to be honest with you guys, I think the most fun part is just getting to experiment with the different characters. So I can't wait for you guys to check it out. Let me know if you guys are excited because I can't wait to see you all playing this new mode. And who knows, you might see me in here. But of course, as always, make sure to like and subscribe. And make sure to stay tuned for some more crazy sneak peeks coming soon, either in the Discord or even on the channel. Well, for me, I think I'm going to go play more of this new mode. I'm going to play with some more of the characters. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh without further ado take care peace